I'm here with Mike Fries, the president and CEO of Liberty Global. Mike, the big news for you recently, obviously, has been the acquisition of Virgin Media. Right. Can you tell me a little bit about the rationale for that deal? Because I guess some people have said there's maybe not so much in the way of synergies between the two companies. What can you tell me about why it makes sense and, and what you're planning to do? Well, I think there are synergies, first of all, between the two companies, both uh, revenue synergies and potential cost synergies. We buy content from the same companies. We buy equipment from the same companies. We're in the same business. So I think the synergies are actually potentially very large. Uh, and the revenue synergies are large, too, because we we can learn from them. They can learn from us. So I think the synergies are real. And then secondly, I think, you know, uh, they're in the same business. And, you know, we're, we're in the business of building scale and having scale uh, to launch new products, to to be more efficient with our balance sheet. There's lots of opportunity there, I think, um, as an operator to be bigger and benefits of being bigger, dealing with regulators, et cetera. So to us, it's a natural transaction. Yeah, great. You've um, obviously been preoccupied recently with the launch of Horizon in the Netherlands and now Switzerland and forthcoming Germany and Ireland. Can you tell me a little bit about what you've learned from that launch and uh, why you think Horizon will make uh, a great platform for your subscriber base generally going sure. forward? Sure. So what we've learned from that launch is people want to access their cable content on multiple devices, and they're doing that today. We learned that they enjoy having a more flexible, easier to use interface. Um, they enjoy having the ability to integrate their own content and web content on that TV screen, which is the core screen in the household. Uh, and they enjoy kind of being brought along in, in sort of the technology and revolution, if you will, and, and being given an opportunity to, to take their TV experience to the next level without having to pay a lot for it and, and or, or change things out. So it's a very seamless, simple way of stepping it up and, and living in a broader uh, context all those great experiences you read about, whether it's your smartphone or your iPad or your, or your online, uh, your PC, and doing that with the product you're already paying for. So it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, great. Looking at consolidation more widely, I mean, do you think that uh, there is scope for wider consolidation in your core markets or outside of those going forward? What, what do you think the opportunity? Yeah, I think there's are? opportunity for further consolidation in core markets as well as outside core markets. But you know, we never say we have to do any deals. There's no must-have transactions. We're fine with what we own today, but we'll always be opportunistic and disciplined about building the business from here. Now, looking at product areas going forward and, and how to increase the, uh, the the sort of average revenue per user and also looking at mobile specifically, I mean, can you tell me a little bit about your plans for that and where it fits in with the product set you've got already? And this year we'll be rolling out a more advanced mobile product in, in many markets in Europe and it really is a complementary product to our core fixed products and allows us to satisfy certain of our consumers' needs who want a bundled product and who, and who want sort of seamless relationship with one provider. So uh, we're going to launch it and we've had great success in Belgium and in Chile and other markets where we're directly in the business. We've got a million mobile customers today so we know a little bit about it and of course Virgin has three million mobile customers. So together we have a, you know, we have a pretty strong um, you know, experience base to, to inch our way into the mobile business I think cost effectively and, and, and productively uh, and to give those consumers who want it a broader experience with us. So that's what we're going to do. Is there anything you've learned from the Virgin business that can feed into Liberty Global, either well, mobile a lot or other things. I mean, they have a much uh, more successful B2B presence than we do. Uh, you know, we have 5% of our revenues B2B, theirs is 14 or 15%. So we can learn from them on the B2B front. They have uh, great experience in wireless, as I just said, so their ability to bundle products and services, market mobile services, you know, handset issues, relationships, those are all things we can benefit from.